back beautiful family today i want to share with you a very delicious masa for tamales made with rice flour and coconut oil yes masa for tamales prepared with these two amazing ingredients that i know you guys are going to love but first things first my apron is on my hands are clean and i am ready to show you my ingredients First, I want to start showing you what kind and what brand I am using of rice flour. Of course, any brand you could use. I really love this one. In this little box, I have 500 grams of rice flour or three cups of rice flour. I'm going to measure it here so that you see that it's three cups of rice flour. Let me tell you, this masa comes out delicious, moist, fluffy, and perfect for any kind of filling you want to add to it. Here, I'm going to add two tablespoons of baking powder. And I am going to put it aside and I'm going to continue by showing you what type of coconut oil I am using. Any kind of coconut oil you could use any brand but let me tell you this is a healthy version they really come out so delicious that you're not gonna miss the lard and you're not gonna miss the vegetable oil let me tell you you're going to use one cup of coconut oil i am going to add a little more and then i am going to level it out i am just using one whole cup of vegetable of coconut oil look at this and now i'm ready to level off of course i'm going to transfer this to a plate when i'm going to take it to the microwave and i am going to dissolve the coconut oil just for a couple seconds you don't want it hot you just want the coconut oil to come almost to room temperature see-through liquidy not creamy like it is now so now i'm going to take it to the microwave just for a couple minutes seconds i mean after a couple seconds i am ready but before i add it in i am going to incorporate the baking powder and the rice flour and now i am ready to start incorporating the coconut oil this is real time i'm not gonna fast forward i want you to see the texture i want you to see what equipment am i using the best equipment your hands they need to be nice and clean and i am going to incorporate really good the coconut oil it's gonna turn into like a sandy texture that's normal i have chicken broth that i'm going to add into this mixture of course you could add water and then just add a little of salt salt is to taste but i'm adding chicken broth believe me with the chicken broth these this masa really comes out delicious and i'm using a measuring cup so that you see how much chicken broth i am using and here i'm adding a little bit at a time because remember that the rice flour is totally different as the corn flour. So here I'm going to add a little bit at a time. I added one whole cup of chicken broth. I'm going to incorporate it really good. I'm going to add one more cup. And I'm ready to mix away. Remember that this is the best tool, your hands. Mix it very well, making sure that you get it nice and fluffy. 
that there is no dry ingredients at all. You want to mix it all the way from the bottom, moving it just the way I am moving it. Look at this. You don't need to add any more chicken broth. Just incorporate it for at least five to six minutes, making sure that everything is well incorporated. How do you know when the masa is ready? Well, you could feel the texture. It's going to be creamy. It's going to be fluffy. You're not going to see any dry patches, anything at all. And you're going to notice that it's going to stop sticking to your hands. Look at this. It's going to be a little oily. That's okay. You want the masa to really absorb the rice flour to really absorb the liquid and the coconut oil. Let me wash my hands. After I wash my hands, I'm going to use a spatula. I'm just going to mix and show you how fluffy this is, how smooth it is. And that's exactly how you want your masa for tamales. Look at this. How do you know when this is ready? We're going to do a test. I'm going to get a cup of water. I'm going to add a little bit of this masa. And if it floats, that means that the masa is ready. It is ready for you to start making your delicious tamales. Of course, add any type of, of filling. Any type of filling you could add. And I am sure you're going to love how fluffy this is. Look at this. Easy to prepare a healthy version. And if you got to this part of the video and you like and you love this recipe, please leave me a thumbs up. Share this video on social media with your friends, with your relatives. And you are ready to prepare your amazing homemade tamales. I'm going to transfer it to the presentation plate and I am ready. I hope that you're ready for the holidays. I hope that you're ready to make your amazing homemade tamales. Look at this. There's no excuses. If I could make this amazing recipe, you could make it at home too. Look at this. How creamy and how fluffy it is. That's exactly how you want the texture of the masa. I'll see you in a bit. completely done with this amazing masa for tamales for salted tamales with rice flour and coconut oil nice and creamy and your tamales are going to come out perfect you decide what filling you want to add to this amazing masa for tamales the healthy version when I say the healthy version, they are made of rice flour and coconut oil. I hope, my friends, you make this amazing masa for your delicious tamales. If you liked and loved this amazing recipe, I invite you to subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, share this video on social media with your friends, with your relatives, so Cooking with Gloria keeps growing. Don't forget to push that notification button, and if you did, Leave it activated so every time I make an amazing recipe, yes, you're going to be notified. Before I say I see you soon, I wish you nothing but the best. Peace and love. I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of Cooking with Gloria. Like, subscribe, and share. And see you on my next amazing recipe. Bye-bye.